All right, we're here in the Model S. This is a 2015, which has the autopilot. So 2015 newer uh, Teslas have the autopilot. So just to give you a quick tutorial and to show you how useful it is, if you go into your home screen here, hit, hit the vehicle, and then you go into autopilot. You want to make sure you have auto steer on. Auto steer is just going to keep you in your lane. So to basically use the autopilot, right now autopilot's on and I'm in like stop and go traffic. You know, there's probably a traffic jam somewhere. I'm going five miles an hour. But to engage autopilot, you basically just set the cruise. So either push up on this stock, down, or you pull it towards you and that engages the autopilot and you set your speed so if you see here on, on the dash I have it set to 70 because the speed limit is 70 and then that blue circle there with the steering wheel means it has auto steer now you have to do those two separately so once you engage the, the cruise by pushing up on this you would then pull back on this stock twice one two to go back on you'll, you'll click down and see you'll click on this twice one two pull back on that twice like that and then that'll engage the auto steer so now I have autopilot on and the uh, auto steer. So what that's gonna do is, the nice thing with the autopilot is it takes you to a complete stop. So this car in front of me, you know, we're just crawling along at five miles an hour. This car in front of me is just going five miles. So the, the, this will just keep up to it. Now to adjust your following distance, if you see this, this knob here, you turn this, different clicks, and it adjusts your following distance. Seven all the way to one. When you're going slower, it follows a little closer. So if we just set it at four. Now to cancel it, you either you either just you, you just move the steering wheel. Like if, if you, you take over steering, if you just do a quick movement of the steering wheel, it'll disengage the auto steer. Or if you push forward on the stock like that, or push this silver button on the end, that disengages it. So that's three ways. So the, the real helpful thing to the autopilot is you can be almost hands-free. You know, they want you to put your hands on the wheel, but you can have your hands lightly on the steering wheel and your feet are not even touching the pedals right now. I'm not even touching the pedals and I'm going, you know, 13 miles an hour. This car is just fall. I'm just following this car in front of me. And, you know, this is perfect for stop and go traffic because you, it takes out the hassle of just, you know, stopping and going and just trying to keep up with the car in front of you. The autopilot feature is awesome in this situation. And then when you're on the open highway and you're cruising, it works great there too. So the steering wheel will keep you right in the middle of the lane. The car has to be able to detect the white lines. So if the white lines, you're in, let's say you're in a construction zone or the lines have faded away a little bit, sometimes the car can't tell. Because I have, uh, you know, you'll be able to see those two lines next to the car there that are not showing up when the car can't detect that. So anyways, this is an awesome feature of Tesla's. Just wanted to uh, give a quick tutorial and the big benefit of this. So thanks for watching.